Hi all, I appreciate you stopping to watch this video. Uh, today we're going to talk about what it looks like when something spins upon uh, a central axis or uh, when it spins upon its own axis versus the axis of something else. Um, here we have our central axis point and we have a little pin going up through it. Okay, that's going to be our central axis. And um, <clears throat> I put a little hole in the bottom of this cork. Uh, right now it can rotate any way it wants. It has an infinitesimal amount of uh, axes. Um, but as soon as I put it upon this pin, we reduced its amount of axes to just one. It can only spin on that plane. Uh, so here we go. The uh, oh, First of all, here's what it looks like when something is not spinning upon its axis. Here's what it looks like when it starts to spin upon its axis. As you can see, the piece of string is wrapping its way around the object that's spinning upon its own axis. All right. Now, I've also got this one here. You may ask why I'm not using the same cork. It's because it's important to remember that the moon is not orbiting uh, the Earth's crust, which would be kind of like this here, but it's actually orbiting an axis point within the Earth. Uh, so here's our axis point within the Earth. So uh, here's our hole in the bottom. Same exact concept. And here's our man on the moon. The whole point of this is why does the man on the moon always face the uh, the Earth? So here's what it looks like when the man on the moon um, starts to spin on its own axis. Right now he's not facing the Earth. Now he is not facing is so on and so forth. The string wraps around it. Here's what it looks like when it starts to orbit and spin. Um, right here, it's not facing the center. Now it is. Now it's not. Now it is. As you can see, the string is wrapped around. Now a lot of people. Uh, now he's a one-eyed, uh, one-eyed moon. Anyway, a lot of people will say it's an indication that the moon does. Uh, spin on its own axis because if it didn't it would always be facing the same point in space, right? So we're gonna call this our point in space uh, Now our one-eyed moon is gonna start uh, orbiting the central axis always facing this point in space Should be no surprise to anyone that it has in fact wrapped around the string um, and as we saw, that is an indication that it was spinning upon its own axis. Now let's look and see what happens when it is always facing the center point. Man on the moon, still facing the center point here. All the way around, still center point. No matter how many times it goes around, it will always be facing that center point. And as you can see, the string is not wrapping around the cork. Uh, so what does that tell us? Uh, any other rate of spin besides always facing that center point uh, would cause the string to wrap around it. The only time the string does not wrap around, uh, the only time the string does not have the same uh, look and feel as something that is spinning upon its own axis is, uh, is when it's always facing the center. Uh, and that, my friends, is another evidence why the moon does not spin on its own axis. I've made several videos on this topic. I even have a blog on the topic, which I'll flash on the screen. Um, I appreciate if you check it out, give feedback. I always like good discussion. Um, there's definitely a lot of debate about this. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.